Hey guys and welcome back. So in the last lecture we downloaded and installed the Arduino IDE. In this lecture we will set up the Wi-Fi for the Arduino Yun and Arduino Yun Mini. So first of all, to get to the screen, you need to go to the IP address 192.168.240.1. Now if you're on the Arduino Yun, make sure you're connected via Ethernet. If you're on Wi-Fi on either the Arduino Yun or Arduino Yun Mini, then you need to connect directly to the Arduino Yun via Wi-Fi. If you don't have a Wi-Fi connection on your computer, then you can use your phone to get access into this web panel. So once you got access, make sure you go to this address, as I mentioned before, and your password should be Dog Hunter. Now because I already have the setup, I'm going to enter in the password that I've already changed it to. So this will show you the details and status of your Arduino Yun. So go over to configure and make sure you change your board name to Arduino. You can change it to other things such as my Arduino or my Yun or whatever you want it to. But we'll keep it to Arduino for now for simplicity and for the rest API. Make sure you change your password to whatever you want it to and then select your Wi-Fi network. Enter in your Wi-Fi password. This is the Wi-Fi password of your router at home. Before you click configure and reset, make sure your REST API access is set to open. If you're really scared, you can change it to with password. But the chances of someone hacking into your Arduino Yun is pretty slim. So once you've clicked open, go over to configure and reset. So once you've clicked configure and reset, just give it some time and it will start configuring the Arduino Yun. Once it's ready, go over and click here. So now go over to your Arduino IDE, open it up and go over to file examples. Go down to bridge and then bridge. It should open up this example. So what we're going to do is we're going to send a bunch of commands, which is Arduino forward slash digital forward slash 13. And then we're going to try and flash our LED and see if that works. I won't go into too much detail on this code, but you can read through the comments. So with your Arduino connected via USB to your computer, you can flash it and compile it. Make sure you have the Arduino Yun or Arduino Yun selected. Okay, so now if we go onto my iPad at the moment or a mobile device, we can type in this address arduino.local forward slash arduino forward slash analog1 and it will read that pin. If you press it again, it will change the value. And this is using the REST API. Now let's go ahead and control the Arduino pin LED. So we know that the default pin is pin 13. It is also a digital pin. We can read what it is, which is set to 1. But let's set it to 0. Set it to 1 and you'll see the LED change. Quite cool, eh? You can do this either for, from your iPad, your phone, or your computer. If you have trouble logging in or getting this to work, try logging in to arduino.local, tapping your password, and then try this. And also make sure that you have compiled and downloaded the sketch onto your Arduino. That is the bridge sketch. We can go ahead and play around with this. This is this forms the basis of our augmented reality apps. We're going to be using the REST API for getting the data from our Arduino into Unity. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.